All right. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have told a lie. <laughs> I lied. I didn't mean to lie, but I'm a liar now because I said next video, I promised I would show this fat stack of Brewers, Bucks, and Packers signed cards. Um, you know me, I pick up those signed Packers, Bucks, and Brewers on the cheap on Facebook whenever I can just to add uh, to, to that PC. Um, super cheap cards, but I cannot do that because I just got in a big package I've been waiting on for a couple weeks, ever since the UFC International Fight Week Fan Expo, and the package came in today. Um, and also the second reason why I can't show that fast sack was because there's two more cards I didn't show last time, and I have another, another TTM from yesterday. I actually got one on Wednesday, which never happens, but just came across the lake, literally from Lake from Michigan, across Lake Michigan. And a couple of videos ago, um, I made reference to when I showed off this Jim Miller uh, 2011 Leaf Metal pickup. I said I also had bought a cookbook. You guys are probably thinking, what the heck? And I got sidetracked and never showed the cookbook. I didn't actually like buy a cookbook. Cookbook. It was a Jim Miller, um, the fighter, the fighter's cookbook by Jim Miller. Um, so this came in the mail that day when I got the Leaf Metal card, and uh, this is more. A lot of biography stuff. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> Just a man and his dog. But a lot of like um, natural wild game recipes. A lot of bio stuff in here too that I'll take a look at. Um, dad's potato salad. That must be him and his dad. But we got like venison, barley soup. So just straight up like big game, natural gardening recipes. So I bought two. I bought one for me because uh, I'm a Jim Miller fan and um, one for my buddy who watched our dog while on vacation. So, And then today, um, I picked, this one came in from a buddy. Five bucks. Five bucks PayPal and shows up in my mailbox for just five bucks. I mean, come on. It's Jim Miller. So I've just really grown, he's really grown on me. Back in the day, there was guys that he fought that I liked better and I would always wish that he would lose, but this guy now has a UFC record, I think now for the most wins. Um, I'm not building a Jim Miller PC by any means, but I respect Jim Miller and he's he's a beast. And uh, he was in town in 2011 and I never got to meet him uh, when he was on the Versus 5 fight card here in Milwaukee. Um, I think that was a Chris Lytle versus Dan Hardy main event, but I had a great time. That was my first in-person autographing experience, but Jim Miller was, I saw his coach, but I never saw him. So I never had a chance to meet him. It probably wouldn't have been right at the time because it would just been, it's Jim Miller, not another UFC fighter. But if I, have, I had a chance to meet him now, that'd be freaking, that'd be rad. So that was the cookbook I picked up. That's a Jim Miller pickup. And then the GSPs that I didn't show off last time, um, this was the card that he had signed and sent back in return that I did not send. I was looking to get that yellow 2013 octagon side insert. Um, so this one will probably be a PC upgrade. I think the one I currently have isn't signed as bold as this one is. So, but just like that old 2009 look to this card. I mean, it's just, it's got like the tribal look to it. I got some cage print on it, real dark. It has a nice spectrum hollow look to it. Yeah, 2009 main event. 13 freaking years old. That's crazy. And then this was um, one that I did send in my in-laws name. I should have kept the two Dave on it, even though even though I don't go by Dave, I go by David. But um, just this little GSP scribble just looks a little bit insignificant. So the, the two Dave should have stayed on there. But I'm just so anal. <laughs> I don't like my name on cards. You know, just like to keep them generic. Definitely not selling anything, but. To transfer it to somebody else and have my name on it it's just just not my thing so just straight up gsp so um yeah got the upgrade and then today i got this package uh, i've been waiting on it for a couple weeks and then it shipped and i was watching the shipping coming back from or coming from a buddy of mine um in nashville um you know shipped them this week check the tracking shows accepted shows it was in the distribution place and then no movement for a couple days so then boom this morning bunch of tracking updates 
and then out for delivery all in one day, right? And then I checked the tracking this afternoon at, while I'm at the office and it says delivered to an agent for final delivery. And I was like, huh? <laughs> I've had informed delivery for ages and I've never seen that before. And I was just like, Google, what does this mean? And it didn't look good. I didn't like what it looked like. And uh, long story short, I get home from the office, pull up to the mailbox, boom, the box is in the mail. The box is in the box. So let's go through this. I'm super stoked. This is a huge blessing for me and my collection. It's been ages since I've had in-person help. Um, you know, I, I get it here and there. Um, that's what she said. But um, yeah, I'm just super stoked. So you will see them as I see them. I know what ones got signed but I couldn't ramble off right now which ones did get signed and which ones didn't. I think three out of my whole lot didn't. But my buddy Dylan hit me up just looking for some base cards that he didn't think I would need, AKA WMM, you know, women's cards. I do have a small stack of them that I keep in my unsigned cards box. Uh, so I was able to hook him up with a bunch of cards that he wanted. And then I sent a bunch of randoms that uh, I was interested in getting done at the expo. And he, he hit a bunch of home runs for me in, in this lot. And uh, so let's get into it. Already pre strung the box, can wrapped up. But man, that, that tracking just freaked me out bigly. I probably should have uh, taken a look at this. Oh, balls. I took my razor upstairs too. And my scissors. It's probably some vintage Pokemon box. Oh, wait. Maybe the top. Yeah, there now we're thinking. The top opens up. My little guy likes a Pokemon box. Let's go, let's go. Right on top is a hard to get international guy. Another one still in the box. Let's go. Super happy. I'm so excited, I couldn't wait. I had to wait for the freaking washer down here to get done. So let's get into it. Oh no, you surprised me. What, Gilbert Burns. I didn't know this one got done. I didn't even know I sent this one. Damn, let's go. What the heck? Gilbert freaking Burns. I had gotten him TTM a few weeks ago and I'm looking to do him one more time on the cards that I really wanted done. The Gilbert Burns were in that, remember? Last video, the Gilbert Burns cards were in there. Uh, so yeah, here we got the uh, Chronicles Illusions done, or Elite. Ooh, that's super cool. This one's nice, really cool picture on the select of Chris Weidman, the All-American. Should be coming back from that gruesome uh, leg injury. So the Vittori didn't get done, as we see. And this one I needed to get back so I could send it out TTM. I think I have a chase on that. And then the Steve Wonderboy Thompson did not get done. I think those are the only three I thought, but I don't know. I gotta ask him about this. I don't know. I did not send that, but that's dope. So here we go. Got Jan Blahowitz on this select octagon side insert. Really wanted this guy badly. D-Rod, this guy's just a cool looking dude, big time, cool dude. I do have a TTM out to him at the gym that he trains, but he hasn't been training for a while because he's in between fights. So it's super good to have this in house, done up bold and blue. Got a 2022 Panini Dunruss of Mark the Hammer Coleman, Hammer House MMA. So it'd be nice to get the Hall of Fame on there, but no complaints here, bold and black. Ooh, Giga, Giga Kick, Giga Chikatse, done up in black on the 2022 Prism. I didn't send the 2021 Prism rookie. Uh, I don't know why. I don't think I wanted to pull. I don't think I wanted to pull it on my set, or I didn't have it on hand at the time. And then here's the 2022 Dunruss, also done up in black. So super happy to finally have Giga in my collection. Hope that's. Hope that's um focused my first Corey Sandhagen auto oh my word is this good maybe I'm too close I don't know all right we'll leave it so boom I have this I have a TTM waiting for him as well but um hasn't come back yet should get it back at some point just never know when and look at this I got a numbered triple c on the comeback, coming to get the uh, 135 belt and then 145. It's a numbered card. Let me see if I can get a damn focus. I'm not gonna get one, am I? 
out of 75. So nice to get a Cejudo. This card was not gem mint, so I just figured I'd get it signed instead of having it sit. You know me, all cards need ink. And then here's the Bronx, Charles Oliveira. Big fan of him, met him twice. And now he's champ. You know what, I think it's just my eyes. Who knows? Oh, I let Tapuria on this rookie silver 2022 prism. So sick. Only it would have been better is if he signed here, but in all lighting, the blue ink does show up. So that'd be sick. That is sick. I was going to say that'd be sick to get slabbed. Last but not least, well, last but least, <laughs> the blonde Brunson, Derek Brunson. Signs really small. Whew. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and the burns. Mm. I feel like they're, mm. I got to check what I sent, but I didn't send this, but I still got it. That's dope. And then this was TTM I got back from across the lake. Came back actually on a Wednesday from Michigan, from Sweet Dreams, um, Jamal Hill. So I got his rookie done. Put just SD for Sweet Dreams on the 2021 Panini Rookie and then the 2022 Dunruss. Got the full Sweet Dreams inscription. So there we go. Looking forward to sorting through those, putting them in the binder, finding a random spot so there's not two of the same fighter on each page. And uh, yeah, super happy. Oh, let's go. So next video, we're gonna have to get to this fat stack. Fat stack of brewers and uh, get a bunch of those right there. Put in the binder pages. Those are all brewers, PC, cheapy, cheapy autos. So I won't promise because I don't want to be a sinner, but I kind of promise I'll get to this stack next time. But until then, drop down in the comment below. Just say hi. Let's check in. Let's connect again. And uh, that's it. You guys all have a great uh, rest of the week. And a great weekend. We'll talk to you later.